taking quite a long break from a video game lately because I'm working on a passion project and I... I don't feel like playing video games as much anymore, what the hell? So here we are, back to this game. I don't even remember what I was doing last time we played. I know I parked in the exact same spot I, I parked before where um, a Bethesda situation happened with uh, her? I think it was her. So anyway, what are we doing? D did I level up by accident? I think we did, yes, we have points. We have 10 points to allocate. Uh, I'm still working towards persuasion, lying, intimidation. Bring this uh, to 60, apparently I cannot. Uh, we gotta work on uh, lying and intimidation, potentially, first, before we move on to more points in persuasion. Defense block. I haven't fought anything in a million years, so do I really do, do I even need to put points in defense at this point? I don't know Sneak I haven't been fighting. I've been hacking a lot. I've been talking to people a lot. I've been taking missions We, we took quite a few I completed a couple of those in the last episode, but other than that we haven't done much I want to fight something. I'm, I, I want to kill something. I need to remember the buttons, starting by checking out our quests. I came here in the first place to complete a mission regarding a weapon. Weapons from the Void. Acquire the science weapon on Groundbreaker. That was my priority number one. After that, we got, like, a few other things. And there are a couple companion quests I am quite interested in. Return to the Unreliable and ask Parvati about Junlei. Well, turns out we cannot do that unless I am at the ship. Uh, I don't remember how to get to the ship. Those are the, the toilets. I don't know. Do, do we go upstairs or something? The layout is weird. This requires hacking. Oh, those come for free. What's going on, folks? Um, can I use that? Still toss ball cards. You're looking at me? I think he's looking at me. Pay to view movies. Pay to view is restricted to diamond level guests, but feel free to peruse our catalog. Entertainment cartridges are available for rent at the main deck. My big canid friend. A lab grown giant canid goes on an adorable rampage, re <coughs> leading a family of scientists on a wild chase across Emerald Vale. Spending the holiday away from home proves to be a chore. But the family soon realizes that true friends are the monsters you meet along the way. Rated FCR 11 for fun times, simulated rampage, and body count 11. What? Nunner Spank 7? Primal of... That sounds like porn. Raised by wilderness primals? One man will leave the jungle he knows to explore the one he doesn't. Keystone. He came for Nunner Spank, but he stayed for love. Can a young corporate executive collar this creature, or will she awaken the beast within? Rated P-A-C-N-S for passion, anthropoid, and consensual nanner spanking. I... I have so many questions. <laughs> Hack 25? Yes. From Veritas? Who the fuck is Veritas? One of you be squealers came asking after you. Wanted to know what you like to drink, who you talk to, what your temperament's like. Try to pay me off. I took the bits and told her a pack of lies. Watch your back when you get in. Don't want to find you in the waste disposal chute. Who the fuck is V? I mean, who is very Taz? And a while since I heard from you. You're on that long haul out to uh, Dashkova right now. Hope it goes well. I got a space for you and yours to meet when you get back. It's just a storage room, but it's quiet and safer than the bar. Should be able to accommodate most of your folks. No fees or nothing. Just let me buy you a beer. 
have reviewed your proposal for the tenth time and still do not agree that Galactic Mushroom is an acceptable flavor for a Rizzo beverage. But why? It's magic. Even if we were to pursue the idea, the samples you sent us were dangerously hallucinogenic. Of course they were. The unopened package alone caused mayhem in our receiving bay. Please don't reach out to us again. Damn, I want to know more. You wouldn't know anything about that now, would you? Yeah, he's just sitting there, and I, I can't steal stuff. I mean, get out of here. I need to look at the map. That's all it takes. Look at the map. This looks right. Did I just accidentally steal something? Oh, wait, now I can talk to you. I'm free to leave, right? Yeah, but isn't the savior of Groundbreaker? What can I do for you? The savior of Groundbreaker? What did we do? Be seeing you. Guess I don't need to talk to you to get back to my ship, I suppose. Why did I park my car over there? It looks so much bigger now that I look at it. Hey, you got a second? Felix, what are you doing right next to my ship? Are you a companion by any chance? I gotta ask you again. Fancy running into you again. Don't mind me. It's just admiring your ship from up close. Gotta hand it to you, boss. That's a fine looking ship. Only thing it's missing is me. Excuse me? You're pretty eager to throw in with somebody you barely know. Yes, I absolutely am. Just give me a shot. That's all I'm asking. I could be the best damn crew you ever hired. All right, Felix. Tell me why I should hire you. Okay, that's one option. What is temperament? If you're trying to convince me to hire you, you're going about it all wrong. <laughs> Consider this your interview. No! Convince me. Why should I hire you? You're serious. You're giving me a shot. All right. Uh, hang on. Hang on. I put together a little speech, just in case you asked. What the actual hey shit? I'm Felix Millstone. I have prepared a list of reasons why I believe you should hire me to join the crew of your ship and or outlaw gang. Does he have it written on his hand? I didn't even see. Sorry, I'm just um, rearranging the pillow on my on my chair. It's trying to escape my ass, so give me a second. But are you reading off your hand? Yeah, it's a second draft. Firstly, I am highly personable, and I get along well with anyone who is not of the jackass persuasion. <laughs> Sorry. He's funny. <laughs> uh, secondly... I can be counted on in the event of a firefight, standoff, and or raid. My motto is, if you need a steady gun hand, I'm your man. That motto is a, it's a work in progress. Please, continue. Additionally, I have several years of experience as a box hauler. This skill may come in handy if you need a body dragged away or a door held open while escaping enemy fire. In conclusion, thank you for considering me for your ship crew and or outlaw gang. I look forward to our adventures together. I thought that was real good, Felix. Thanks for the vote of confidence. What do you think? Am I in? I'm not gonna lie, I enjoyed your speech. <laughs> Dragging off bodies? Shootouts? What kind of ship do you think I'm running? The fun kind? I mean, what else do you do when you got a ship of your own? Look, we're just um, a responsible, law-abiding crew of adults. Actually, we're not. Good answer. Welcome aboard, child. Wow. <laughs> you don't know how long I've been waiting to hear that. Thanks, boss. You're not going to regret this. You got a crew now, Felix. You can join the party. Dude, nice! Somehow I always find my way back to the Groundbreaker. So, how did you end up on the Groundbreaker? Didn't I tell you? I'm secretly the chairman's orphan child. 
abandoned at birth in the back bays. That sounds overly dramatic, but, uh... And, and, and then you were raised by a pack of sprats, right? That's right. Can't get anything past you, boss. Honestly, before you picked me up, I was living in the back bays. Spent my whole life up there, watching ships roll in and take off. Always wondered where my ship would come. I was what folks on the Groundbreaker call a stowaway. Means I was invisible. Life carried on for everybody else, but not for me. I had to make my own way. There's something I really like about you, Felix. I'm really happy to have you aboard. You were so away. That's what they called us. Orphans with no family. No company to take us in. Nowhere to go but the back bays. The words a touch kindlier than rung leech, but the meaning's just as clear. If you can't support your own self, you don't deserve to be on the groundbreaker. How did you manage? Same way we all do. Look for work and hope somebody would give me a shot. Hauling boxes was about the only work I could find. Hated every second of it. The foreman and I never got on. Felix, you can't just attack your own foreman. Yeah, I hear you, boss. It sounds like I was out of line, right? Swinging on my own foreman like that. But on the other hand, broadsiding the jackass with a toss ball stick, that felt good. That felt real good. You ought to try it. <laughs> we don't have the points for a one-handed melee 25, huh? Well, I'm, I'm sure we're pretty close, even though I don't really use melee that much. If we have a disagreement, you and me, I expect you to be civilized. Oh, I can do civilized. Proper civilized, too. Genuflecting and everything. I caught a real lucky break. If you hadn't picked me up, I'd still be back at the docks, waiting for the day my ship arrives. Please, Felix, uh, if I hadn't picked you up, you'd probably be in a prison cell. Oh, yeah. I had a prison cell back on the Groundbreaker. Carved my name on the wall. I wonder if it's still there. Thanks for listening, boss. Let's get going. Well, it should be, unless they renovated. Okay! Pravati, I mainly came here for you. So let's have this uh, private little conversation on the ship and then be done with it, and then we can look for the... the is that the weapon called Groundbreaker or what? No, 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 it's the science weapon on Groundbreaker. I'm like, yeah, the, the, this place is called Groundbreaker. The weapon cannot be Groundbreaker as well. Uh, per Pervati? The heck? There you are. Where's my boy? Hey, Captain. Can I get your temperature on something real quick? Is this ship about to blow up? What? No. If it were, I'd be hollering loud enough to wake the dead. So, June Lei and I have been talking some. Through messages? I got him here on my data pad, and well... You've been sexting? She sent me a poem. One she wrote her own self, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I should read into it. Because poems are all symbolic and such, right? It's not so good. But real sweet. Comes from the heart, would you say? Oh, law. That's what's got me spooked. I don't rightly know. It's about this engine that's been shaking itself apart. Then this lady mechanic comes by and lays one hand on it. And the trouble goes away. It sings. I don't want to get too hopeful, but I'm wondering if maybe she's the engine and I'm the lady? It's a real romantic poem. Made my chest hurt, kinda. I like where this is going. <laughs> Sounds like she likes you. I don't know where it's leading yet, or if I'm misinterpreting. I'm not much interested in physical stuff. Never have been. Leastways, not like other folks seem to be. It's not that I can't, I just don't care for it. It's been a problem in the past. The folk who wanted to be with me back in the Vale, they didn't. They said I was cold. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, yeah, everybody's different. Don't, don't worry about it. When folks start implying you're a little different from an auto-mechanical, 
you start to wonder. I guess I just needed to talk. I'm feeling a touch better. Thanks for hearing me out, Captain. I actually had another message from Junlei. I just couldn't work up the courage to open it. But I'm gonna change that. Right now. Okay, here we go. Let's see here. Talking about old friends, got to thinking... Isabel? Who's... who's Isabel? Um, everything okay? They were... close, Captain. Like, more than friends close. They were close? Not anymore? I don't know. Junlei talked about them like it was past, but how far in the past? Ten years? Last week? Captain, I'm feeling all mixed up right now. Could we maybe head to the Groundbreaker? Get some drinks at that bar there? The Lost Hope? <laughs> if that's what you want, next time we hit the Groundbreaker, drinks are on me. Thanks, Captain. I'll be ready. I want to do this right now! We gotta help with our friend's sex life. This is important. This is important to me. We gotta make this work. This, this, these two girls need to, to get together. Right now. Are you... Are you with me? Okay. Did I choose the wrong per... Felix! No! Oh, come now. Please. Please. Can I, can I have... Uh, can I have Parvati with me? Why did Felix tag along? I didn't choose him. Or did I? Parvati! Yes! Pretty certain I clicked on Parvati before. Not Felix. But okay, game whatever. You with me, girl? Let's do it. I read customs as condoms. I should get my mind out of the gutter. I don't remember where the bar was. Guide me. Shouldn't be that hard. There we go. I've never been here. <laughs> this is my first time. I don't know. Up to you. What do you want to do? A new face. What's your pleasure, stranger? All the traders in the system come through here. Heard anything interesting? Some big shot down in Byzantium's holding auditions for a new adventure serial. So yay, another six of those next season. All right, let's see what you got. Nothing you need and everything you want. Uh, do I actually order something? We have a discount, I forgot about that. Hold on, um, Parvati, what, what do you want? Okay, so... What are we drinking? You're the expert. Are you calling me an alcoholic? Oh, don't worry on the price. I got this. Let's just do it proper. Wine? <laughs> She's not a drinker. I remember that much. You're not much of a drinker. Better start slow with a beer. Oh, beer. I guess, yeah, I can do that. Beer can be good, I bet. Bottoms up. Beer, huh? Good choice, if you want to get unsober in a hurry. Ah, this tastes like the underside of a boot. People drink that for fun? Oh, Captain, I'm pining for June like something fierce. What am I doing? <laughs> Enjoying a drink with your friends? <laughs> yeah. I guess we are that, huh? Friends. Friends give each other counsel, right? What do you think I should do about Junlei? Because I feel about as aimless as an automac with a busted nav chip. You want to know what I think? I think you should write what you want to say down in your hand. Always work for me. <laughs> Start by telling me why her messages got you so unsettled. Well, she talked about another girl, right? Isabel. Mentioned her by name and everything, like she wanted me to know. Maybe I've been making a right fool of myself this whole time. Maybe she's not interested after all. 
What did she actually write in the message you haven't said? It was real long and rambly. She was telling me a story about her dad, how a lady named Isabel did all sorts of things to try to win his favor. This Isabel lady never quite managed to get her dad's approval, but they carried on anyways. Made something good out of a bad situation. Then it all went down the tubes. Do you think Junlei still has feelings for her? It sounds like she was more involved with her dad and not herself, but... What is this really about? I just got a lot of feelings, Captain, and they're all climbing up my throat. I, I need another drink. Right now. Before I lose my nerve. Not same as before, she didn't like the beer. Do I really need to get her drunk? <laughs> Let's get you some water. Come on, Captain! I'm here to drink! Okay, maybe you're right, I'm a little woozy. Hydration, here I come. Good thinking, boss. You just saved Parvati a whole lot of trouble. Shush you. Oh, Captain, I want to talk to Junlei all the time. Even about silly things, but I'm so scared. About what? Um, everything? I got a solar system's worth of terrifying questions swirling around my head. Does she think I'm as pretty as I think she's handsome? What if she doesn't like me? What if she does? What if she's still got feelings for that lady, Isabel? What if we, we get together and she gets bored of me? The <laughs> fuck if I know, I'm just here for the booze. Yeah, no wonder you're scared. I don't know what to say. Like, none of these answers do it for me. Give her some advice. T -t Tell her something nice and hopeful. I I don't know. I'm terrible at this. Well, I never I never done this before. Never really tried to pursue someone. I'm I'm all flailing limbs and yelling like a little one thrown in the sea who don't know how to swim. You know I'm not interested in physical affection. That's well, it's tripped folks up in the past. Folks I thought cared about me for me. What if she's not okay with that? What if she is, but then later, she's not? I mean, this is true. We do have that in common. I'm not interested in physical affection either. Uh, but I'm not hitting on you, you're hitting on Junlei, so, I, I, yeah, I don't want to go that, I don't want to go down that road. So, you're afraid of disappointing her? What if I can't make her happy? It's not always about f physical connection, you know? You won't know until you try. Yeah, yeah, I know you're right. I just wish it were that easy, is all. I'm not used to speaking free with folks. Back in Edgewater, there wasn't no one who wanted to know my mind. Excepting my dad. Gosh, I don't know that I got that in me. Sometimes I feel real mean inside, Captain. I think... ungenerous thoughts. We all do. Well, I suppose so, but... I, I want to be my best self for her. A good person, worth caring for. Just be yourself. Well, Captain, this has been... This has been a whole lot. I got just... Wow. So much to think about. So... Are you going to ask her out? Oh, gosh. I, I don't know, Captain. Do you think I should? Oh, I'm so fucking lootly. Determination? We don't have enough determination for this? You're still unsure? Yes, just ask her. All right, all right. There's no need to strip your screws over it. Okay. I, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna ask June out. Just as soon as we get back to the ship. I mean, probably. Eventually. Thanks for hearing me out and giving me counsel. And, well, for being a friend. It means a whole lot. You're good people, Captain. You know something, Parvati? You ought to come drinking with the crew more often. Huh. All right. 
Thank you, guys. You're real good friends, you know that? I wish... I wish there was a place we could all live quiet together. Come on, let's go. That's it? And now? Do, do I talk to Jungli or...? Have Parvati meet with Junli Tennyson? Yes. Take Parvati back to the sh Again? Fine. Ah, oh, the things I do for you, girl, and your happiness. This is probably the best quest I've done in this game. But it's worth it. I, I think it's, uh, it's a very sweet mission. Even though it's dumb. I mean, for, for a game like this, thinking about someone else's happiness in, in an RPG, you are the protagonist. Sounds a little dumb, sure. But personally, I think it's the sweetest ever. And I'm so glad we're taking the time. The repair station is currently idle. What? Should I do something about it? Hey, Captain. I hope I wasn't too much bother at the bar. I did have fun, and I tried some things I never would have otherwise. And I don't feel it today. I guess that water must have worked. I'm glad I had you looking out for me. Did you talk to Jun Lee? I messaged Jun Lee when we got back, and she replied super quick. <clears throat> okay. I was awake half the night, thinking about what I sent, anxious to see what you said. I reread my message in the morning, and it was unclear. I was drinking when I sent it, otherwise I wouldn't have had the courage. Also, sorry for the typos. Were there any funny typos? Oh, she called mashed potatoes smashed potatoes. But I think maybe that's just what they call them on Groundbreaker. I've ruined things in the past because I didn't say things I should have, like... I've met someone who's become special to me. I want to be honest with her, so if she feels the same about me, there won't be any surprises. If you do marry, you'll be saying, ha ha, just kidding, unless you're not. So, Junli does like you, and she said it in the most awkward way possible. Oh, isn't she sweet? Like one of those two-bit romances where one soul's all stiff and formal, and I should be glad to perhaps take hold of your hand, miss. I ought to go write her back. I mean, I already did. Twice. <laughs> but anyhow, thanks for taking me out, Captain. Anytime. And and now what? What do we do? Where are you going? That's it? We're done? Well then, um View the distress signal recording on your ship. Ada Ada Ada, I need to hear a thing. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Play me the song of my people. Oh yeah, I picked up a distress call. Can you play it back for me? Yes, Captain. Beginning playback now. There's... There's viscera and death everywhere. Gunfire, gnashing teeth, the unemployed. For law's sake, if anyone's receiving this, please send help. What? Oh, no! No, no, no! Captain, we are now capable of accessing the Roseway landing pad. Also, corporate protocol requires that all distress signals include a list of key personnel for retrieval. The embedded names are Anton Crane, Vaughn Cortez, and Orson Shaw. Key personnel for retrieval. I'd like to learn more about the colony. What part of the colony would you like to discuss? Huh. Phineas Orbital Lab? I want to know more about this guy. Ah, uh, yes. As Dr. Wells is a wanted outlaw, he built his laboratory into an asteroid. Orbital destinations can be challenging to land on. His more so than most. What do you know about him? 
There is a bounty on his head, one with a markedly high reward amount. Shall I engage the laser weapon system? What? Uh, no, 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 don't do that. A sensible choice, as we do not have any laser weapons. <laughs> What'd you say the landing might be rough? The outlaw scientist known as Dr. Phineas V. Wells has taken a measure of precautions to make the lab undetectable to those hunting him. Even knowing the location, my systems resist my orders to go where I instruct them. Let's talk about something else. How can I be of assistance? I'm in the mood for some entertainment. What does this entail? Certainly, Captain. What would you like to hear? Ada, tell me a joke. I used to hate math, but then I realized decimals have a point. Oh my god. <sighs> Ada, play my favorite song. Now playing a Spacer's Choice advertisement jingle. That's not my favorite song. Everyone in Halcyon is contractually obligated to label this or another board-certified jingle their favorite song. As you wish, Captain. I must comply with all direct orders. I gotta admit, there's not much happening in the game so far. We mostly talk to people. We haven't fought much, we haven't explored much. But it's, it's well written. It's funny. And, um, I'm all for that. Alright, talk to you later, Ada. Mm-hmm. What do you mean, uh-huh? Phineas Lab, we can go back to this guy? Just like that? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Where am I going? I'm going... I want to do the... Uh, distress signal, please. Search for secrets in Roseway. Roseway? Um... Investigate Roseway to find potential company secrets that could be sold to the highest bidder through Gladys. Talking to the scientists around the town would probably be a good place to start. I see. So we're going... outside? It's on Terra? Yeah. Take me. We're now in orbit above Roseway, Captain. That was super fast. Stay safe out there. I will. Should we bring Felix? I'm curious. What can he do? Who, me? Yeah! He looks so happy! I gotta give him some, uh, some stuff. Um, Parva- Wait. No guards, huh? I like this place already. They can both come? I didn't think that was an option. Okay, Felix, let's see what you got. What is this? Grenade launcher? My dude. Your armor doesn't look very good, though. Give you more health. Yes. And armor. What are you wearing? 11 armor for the streetwear basic. This is a 4. This is a 9. Huh. I'm gonna give you a... Start with the... Start with a 7? It's a 9, it's a 9, okay. Start with a 9, and we will go from there. I don't know if the armor does anything substantial, but it's better than nothing. Insert Sir Captain's identification cartridge to initiate remote landing. I don't think I need any of that stuff right now. Um, let's go! Second time on Terra, but in a different location apparently. Are these two locations... Connected to one another, I wonder. No, 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 they're separate, apparently. Two landing pads. Someone left. 
treasure unguarded i'll take it gladly okay finally get to kill something captain something hit them something with more teeth than is strictly necessary oh should i be concerned like we can shoot whatever that thing is we can kill it It's Terra 2. What could possibly go wrong? How hard can the uh, enemies be around these parts? Like we've already been in uh, Terra before and it wasn't that... What the heck is that? When I first saw that thing, I thought someone was having sex in the container. He looks pretty harmless. I'll be taking those. I'm not... Uh, we, we cannot interact with this thing, can I? I have a fear about big metallic things. I, I know it's an unreasonable fear to have, but I do have it for some godforsaken reason. So this thing freaks me out more than it should. What is that? Security blade? Yeah, it still freaks me out. What a bit. What did I just pick up? It looks like a, a, a cloth of some sort. First way lab and outpost uh, messages from administration. Dear sir and or madam, effective immediately all operations in the Roseway laboratory and outpost have been terminated. Auntie Cleo values your commitment to serving our company. She had a kitchen back in Groundbreaker, did she not? And we'll arrange for your transportation and relocation to one of the three available Auntie Cleo worker facilities with the following restrictions. Relocation fees will be deducted from pay. If your pay is insufficient to cover necessary relocation fees, you may apply for a relocation fee loan. Approval of loans require an audit of your work history and permanent record. If you would like to apply for an audit, please submit or request form for a place in our surprise audit waitlist. Please include your audit fee paid in full. If you cannot pay for your audit, please apply for an audit fee loan. Approval of loans requiring an audit for your... Oh, Jesus Christ, what? Personal files. Personal files have been purged from terminal memory. Oh. What's the deal with her? Um, we might need to find that auntie. Talk to her. Shouldn't we be looking into that distress call? Not that I mislike feeling the wind in my hair. Oh yes, of course. It's, <clears throat> it's right here. I almost forgot about it. Sorry, Parvati, I was in exploration mode. Was it that bad? How's my weight? Um, uh, still doing all right. That sounded quite welcoming. I almost feel like at home. Oh, I almost shot you. You seem to be one of the uh, nice folk of this town. Hello, uh, Burke. I done had enough of this shit. I'm just the fucking tarmac guard. No one said nothing about fighting no raps. What happened here? Alarms went off, raps broke loose, and I hightailed it in here to get a wall between me and them beasts. Can you tell me who's in charge? Scientist, name of Anton Crane. Someone said he's panicking inside the comm center. What were you doing outside? What do you think? 
I'm the landing pad guard. I was standing out on the fucking tarmac. Hell of a job until all this. Anything else you'd like to know? You said the rats broke loose. Did you have them caged up? Um, forget I said anything about that. Well, what can you tell me about them? Wish they tasted like sissy pig. <laughs> Them's good eating. Well, what do they taste like? Some say chicken. I say the north end of a southbound woolly cow. Did you send a distress call? Distress call? From here? Shit. They told me that weren't allowed. What? Why not? Got me. I just do what I'm told, and I was told not to do such. I'm just gonna take a look around. Oh. Before I forget, Anti Cleo's makes the best pharmaceuticals in Halcyon. Better than nature. Not like that crap Spacer's Choice pedals. Okay, so they're not uh, Spacer's Choice. I'll be taking all of that. The flies are a nice touch. Hey, you have the sword, uh, the same sword as I. Is it the same? Yes, it is the same. We're twinsies. Is she here by any chance, the auntie? I would like to have a word. Anton Crane! If you've come to end my life, let's be on with it. Oh, not actually one of them, are you? Uh, no? Did you send the distress call? Uh, yes, yes. Anton Crane, lead scientist here. I must apologize if my call diverted you. I, uh... May have panicked. Everything's under control now, though, truth be told. Under control? That's what you call hiding in an abandoned town surrounded by raptidons. Standard operating procedure for suits, boss. They're all a bunch of cowards. I'm not sure it's right to fault a man for trying to survive. Let's uh, hear him before judging. What happened here? An attack. One that I'd wager was due to the nature of my research here. But why cancel the distress call? My research may not quite fall within legal parameters, so I'm under orders to maintain wireless silence. However, having your head used as target practice can addle one's thinking. I cut the call immediately once I'd gathered my wits. The Home Office can't know what's happening here. I'd think they'd want to be notified first if anything happened here. We're expendable resources. To be neglected and left to our fates were anything untoward to happen. Uh, that seems a bit harsh. May strike you as such, but nothing less than what we signed on for. More than worth it, in my estimation. Yet you called for help. I'm sure you don't want to cast some light on that. Perhaps, uh, if you can prove yourself worthy of trust, the fact that you're here now has me thinking you'd be someone not averse to risking your life, if the pay were right. Depends. Uh, how much are you paying? What do I need to do? Hours ago, a group of vicious malcontents fell upon us, shot up our labs and loosed our research subjects, the Raptodons. If those Cretans get their hands on my research, well, they'll need not kill me. If you tell me what you're researching, I'd have a better idea what's at stake here. You have a point there. It most decidedly cannot make this situation any worse. All right. We were tasked with formulating a new and improved dental gel. Wait, this is all about toothpaste. One cannot exaggerate the benefits of good dental hygiene. May I continue? <sighs> Please do. While doing research on enzymes specific to the Raptodon's digestive system, we developed an additive which we subsequently discovered to be the most effective appetite suppressant ever. You can couch it however you like, it's still just toothpaste. Uh, diet toothpaste. 
Not just any diet toothpaste. The ultimate diet toothpaste. I still want to help him, but... Uh, this is not worth your life. I wouldn't care if it was the ultimate rocket fuel. Oh, I'm certain it could be made into that as well, with only a few changes to its molecular composition. But you're missing the point. Let's focus for a moment, shall we? Even if you disregard the obvious value of Auntie Cleo's Apazap diet toothpaste in and of itself, we're talking about my career here as well. Apazap? Nice, is it not? Came up with that myself. It's a shame our marketing department is almost as befuddled as my co-workers here. <sighs> Say no more. I'll remove the critters and retrieve your research. Want me to deal with the raptidons too? Yes, but don't kill their mother if it's avoidable. We've need of her to replenish our stocks. I think there's gas in the lab somewhere that can be used to put them out. The research is in the safe in my office. You'll have need of my code and key card. The lab's entrance is in the side of a hill. You can't miss it if you just follow the road. You'll pass by the town's original... by the Grand Architect. Jameson. He's in the old lab. Who's Jameson? My protege. I sent him to retrieve some metabolic precursors, and I forgot him. Um, find him. That would surely lighten the weight on my conscience, as I am held to account for the well-being of every scientist here. Too many have been lost. Too many black marks against my name, as it were. And far too much paperwork. I don't believe their lives mean nothing more to you than paperwork. Of course they do. Please don't mistake my ambition for callousness. What should I mistake it for, compassion? If my colleagues refuse to take their lives seriously, why should I? All they do is complain. They refuse to see the opportunity afforded us here. Just wanted you to admit that you were a heartless bastard. Thanks. Believe what you will. But I'm not the manipulative, ego-driven person you think me to be. I'm not. Yeah, you just keep telling yourself that. Uh, we've got some work to do. Good lord, there's, there's a lot going on. This crane guy cares more about his research than his own people. Yes, he does. Ah, outlaws, I assume. Do me a favor and let me finish this, will you? And then make it quick, please. What are you talking about? Aren't you with the brutes that attacked our lab? Aren't you here to pillage our supplies and leave our corpses to the raptodons? I'm here to help. Someone sent out a distress call. Oh, well, good luck. Now, if we got the carpet in here, it's just a matter of uh, forcing you. Uh, of course, because I didn't. Look, this piece of stuff is with this 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 scuffy thing. I've got to put it in for the next day. And that's the power of twelve, and of course that's the idiot. What? We're gonna get this solved. I mean, <laughs> what is going on right no. now? Hello? Oh, uh, you're still here. If you haven't already, you might speak to Anton. He can point you in the right direction. Yeah, he did. Now, if we got the carpet. Who are you, anyway? I am Orson Shaw, Chief Behavioral Scientist. I was brought in to study the Raptodons. I was to ensure that, should a problem arise, our team is adequately equipped to deal with them. What'd you learn? They are insatiably hungry, absolutely impossible to control in any fashion, and indeed appear to be powered entirely by hate. No amount of studying will enable us to control them, or even slightly sate their aggression. So, your research amounted to nothing? Not quite. We are now acutely aware of their weaknesses. Bullets through the head. Well, good to know. Now, if we got the carpet in here, it's just a matter. What are you doing there? What does it look like? I'm preparing a personal defense device. Or trying to, anyway. 
Need a hand? No. Uh, well, yes. Well, no. Perhaps. I left schematics in our storage facility. As far as I know, the security commander hasn't found them yet. I admit I'd feel better were they returned to me. You care to elaborate? I found an advanced pistol when we moved here, but it's broken. I need those schematics to modify it to output superheated air. It should quite easily burn through raptodon hides. Color me intrigued. Where uh, is the storage facility? Out the south gate. Follow the road. It'll be on the left, past the old lab. Got it. Okay. I'll see what I can find. Say, uh, you wouldn't happen to have a tube of thermal paste on you, would you? Uh, no. Blast. Well, good luck. I hope I see you back here in one piece. Would you be okay if I open this door? Hey, you got it open. Yes? How did you know you can't see me? Oh, it's stealing. All of it is stealing? I want this. I mean, I want everything. Hello, heavy machine gun. Oh my god, there's so many things in here. I'm taking everything. Uh, oh, oh, what? Officer Spine? Welcome to my arsenal now. Did we get it all? Yep! Oh yeah, the schematics! Where the heck are the schematics? They're outside, aren't they? Do we have anything to do in this town before we leave? I mean, not really. Let's stay on the path. Bar vendor discovered. Who are you? Just a random guy? Okay. Alright. Well done. We are experiencing a security event, sir and or madam. Please vacate the premises immediately and return to your domicile or designated workplace. Uh, relax. I just have a few questions. I'm not allowed to answer questions without a signed affidavit from my superior officer. But he got eaten by rats, so I guess it's okay. Were you at the lab when the Marauders attacked? I have strict orders not to talk about anything that happens in a classified area. Please remember that Anti-Cleo Pharmaceuticals is not responsible for any loss of life or grievous physical injury sustained while on company premises. You are not even answering my questions! You said this place was a classified area. Roseway Lab is a highly classified facility. I am not allowed to confirm or deny its alleged existence. You're killing me. What do you do around here? I am not allowed to disclose the details of my contract. If you are unhappy with the quality of my work, please submit a complaint to anti Cleo's Department of Employee Conduct. Never mind. Is that it? They have chickens? There are chickens in space? Well then, are we looking for the schematics first? I think this is where this uh, quest is taking me. Good lord. Jeez, well, thank you for the loot though. Where are we heading? What are we doing here? Distress signal. Uh, there's uh, this as well. I think we should go there first. This looks a lot closer. Yes, it is. Not by much, but it is. Finally, I'll get to kill something. That's a good week of work just to get the engine to turn over. You reckon that's how the bad guys got there? Wait, are you both following me? You are! Let's take him down! 
Whoa, 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 what's going on right next to me? Oh my, it's Felix's weapon! Blowing up everything to smithereens. Good God, I thought it was the enemy. You scared the shit out of me. Don't do that again. The scope is not too bad, you know? I'm digging it. Did you get him? Now that was fun! Why is it? You guys kill everything so quick! I hope we're sharing experience. We don't have many trees, Edgewater. It's a shame to cut down. Dude, look at that thing. Uh Hello! It said tame, but not by me. I wanna use my new weapon. Oh, it's Felix. Felix, what the fuck, dude? Come here! Does it deal acid damage? What is that? I didn't even read the description of the weapon, but I think I'm gonna like this one. Boom. Sorry, guys. <laughs> that was on me. Provider, you're gonna be okay? <laughs> she hurt more than I did. Guys, are you with me? Oh, Jesus, Lord! Who did this to me? What the hell was that? Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. What is going on? Where are we? We should save more often. That should be a lesson to me. Oh god, oh Jesus. I just melted. I shouldn't be picking up everything I find, there's no need. Antibiotics! Is it going to explode if I. Yeah, probably. Am I taking damage by my own sword? Or are they poisonous? No matter, let's keep going. Are we going in a different direction now? I, I think I, I chose... Yeah, the schematics are over there. Vaughn. We're supposed to save Vaughn? Wasn't that the story? Yeah, let's do that first. Try not to die again by, uh, I don't know, things. You think with so much assistance, I wouldn't die like that. Not that fast. I don't know what happened to me. Um, f fat shamed? Of course! I wasn't fat shamed in this game. Yet. Hold on a second. What? No. I don't want to go back in Roseway. What's this thing about Vaughn? Acquire Anton's research. Acquire the weapon plans. Uh, Rose way to find potential company secrets that could be sold to the highest bidder through Gladys. So there are stuff we can do in there. 
But no, let's focus on something that's not in Roseway for now. I see you! Yes, they must take a lot more damage if they don't know we're there. Oh, 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 I'm so eager to crit me, hello! Did you guys uh, get the rest of them? All of them? Not likely, I, I see a doggo over there! Oh god, my weight. Pain. Damn it. Please don't shoot yourselves. The grenade launcher is very scary. Oh, maybe this is how I died last time. These are hard to see. A music box. Hello? Hold up, did we kill everybody? Running out of ammunition, we gotta do something about that. Well, now that we are inside and theoretically safe from harm, let's take a small break and I will see you all in the next episode of The Elder Worlds. Until then, thank you everybody for watching, have fun, whatever you do. Take care of yourselves and do not forget, keep on gaming. I will see you all next time.